What's up everybody and welcome to Elder Scrolls Online. Today we are going to be jumping into the latest expansion, Gold Road, which just recently dropped. I was provided access to this through Keymailer from Bethesda, so thank you to them. But today we're just going to get some first impressions, see how it is, and at least get the, the quest started. I haven't even accepted it yet, so we'll do that. As always, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. The more likes we get, the more episodes I will put out, and the faster I will go ahead and do them. Probably going to do at least two to three back-to-back -back for this today, though. So we are using my second most recent character I created. This actually, this character I made when the High Isles expansion came out and then i played them for a little bit we're only like level 12 i do have a level 50 character that has like some champion but i haven't played on them in a long time so i figured i'd play a character that kind of like a little bit started but not something brand brand new. so let's go ahead and accept this quest here the paths of chaos and then uh we'll see see what we got let me toggle that And then let's see if we can go straight there. Here we go. Been a little bit since I have played uh, Elder Scrolls Online, so just give me a second if I get used to the controls and everything again. Uh, I went through my inventory a little bit before starting this video and just kind of looked over the key binds. I think I kind of remember for the most part, but there's a sweet shop around here? it's been a little Let's take a look. I, here there we go. You are. I have been expecting Laramil you. the Wise. I greet you, chosen of fate. Hermaeus Mora calls upon you to defend this world and all of reality. A secret contained for ages is now free. Where the once forgotten prince walks, disturbance and disorder follow. And that is how we will find her. What sort of disturbances and disorder? A secretive and violent order called the Recollection scours ruins throughout the Weald. Strange Daedric creatures harry the region, and the wood elf King Nantherian reigns over a newly grown forest. A sure sign the threads of fate have frayed. What was that about the threads of fate? The lines of possibility that weave through reality and hold everything together. Athelia, the Daedric Prince of Paths, has been set free. Her presence threatens both our world and the realms beyond. Help me meet this threat, and you will be rewarded. I like the sound of that. I'll help you deal with the threat of the Athelia. Where do we begin? Let me mark your map. Frayed threads of faith point to Rustwall, the Elenglin ruins, and Ostomir. And take this relic, the Echonir. You might find it useful. My friend Baragon offered his townhouse in Skingrad. Let us meet there when we are done. All right. We'll meet there. Goodbye. Yeah, we can go in and get that started then. I still love that the uh, ESO still does a pretty good job at their storylines for the expansions, at least in my opinion. Um, it's been a little bit since I actually went through and, and completed one all the way, uh, but they're really not like that long story content wise uh and they always introduce new areas which is cool we'll just follow this quest line and then see what what's actually out there but yeah the last time i played was pretty much when necrom came out, came out. i recorded a video for that and then i just got busy with I've with other stuff and unfortunately i didn't really get to pain. go back but who knows? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76, which is kind of interesting looking at the two different models with this game being more of a MMO-like, I would say, and then 76 being more along the lines of a shared open world, which personally, I kind of prefer the, prefer the shared open world a little bit more because I feel more connected with the players in the game or the match that i'm in since there's like public event but i'm sure i mean honestly if you join a guild in this and you're playing day to day you can have pretty much the same experience um just you'll be running into a lot of other people as well but i don't know maybe maybe since I, i've been playing 76 this uh this will strike something in me to get back into 
ESO again. It's always something that, I, like, I look forward to going back to. Alright, let's see how my character plays. I haven't done this in so long. Try some combat for a second here. One thing I, I liked about playing the, the Necromancer is it's a, an actual summons class. Never really played one before. My level 50 is a sorcerer, I believe. Investigate here. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if something changed too, but when I logged in today, I had the ability for my my companion here was able to switch over to Welcome, proxy. having a uh, restoration staff instead of using the shield and sword. So I, I don't know where I got that from, but I threw that on so that way I guess you can heal me in combat, which is pretty nice. Always love that. This is Elenglin, an alien ruin. I expected to find the recollection here, as they have been searching similar ruins throughout the area. They did not disappoint. I sense an aura of Daedric power as well. Perhaps that aura drew them here. An aura of Daedric power? Indeed. I sense an ancient Daedric shrine in these ruins, although I have no idea which prince it honors. If we find the shrine, we may uncover the recollection's purpose here. Do you still have the Echonir, Proxy? Yes, what does it do again? Hermaeus Mora forged the Echonir to reveal memories related to Athelia. It was one of the relics instrumental in defeating the Forgotten Prince and eliminating any lingering memories. Hmm. Hopefully the Echonir can help us in our investigations. Okay, so how does it work? The Echonir causes memories pertaining to Athelia to become visible as nebulous manifestations. When you discover one, simply hold forth the Echonir. The relic makes the memory unfold before your eyes. I foresee that you will need it, Proxy. All right, I'll keep the echo near and handy. Between the recollection and the dangers inherent in most ruins, I suggest caution. My research revealed that Elenglin contains a maze filled with deadly traps. We must reach the heart of the maze to find a way through. <sighs> I am ready when you are. All right, let's do it. Goodbye. I am ready too. Enter Lenkun. Alright, we'll go inside here. But it's still cool that they do storylines that have acting, and it's it's not too intimidating coming back to this game a lot of times, for the story at least, because it's as simple as picking up the quest, traveling to the new area, and then you go from there. I think the Be wary. If the I other half the of, of power, getting used to the, the combat again like does take a second. God. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I was standing right and I was like waiting for the one behind it. All right, I'm just going. Got some wasp up her head. They have met some of Let's face renew your vigor, Proxy. Light armor increased. And I don't have ESO plus right now, so this whatever experience that we're about to have, we're doing it without that. Um, we'll see if I end up getting back into this again, then yeah, we'll I'll most likely pick it up. I never really got that much time to play with the uh, uh, the companions and stuff too, because that just like was not around back in the day when I initially played. When I initially played, and then I think this was like the first character that I actually got a companion on. Feel the current of fate flow through you. Funny, every time I see people playing this game too, they always have their camera the camera insanely far back, like sometimes even top down. It, it's crazy how. Uh, I mean, I get it. It's that way you can see the environment around you and like where they're coming from. 
but I like a little bit more closer over the over the shoulder, which is weird going back to me playing 76 right now. I don't know what it is. That game, I can only play first person. The second I go into third person, it I don't know what it is, but it just looks so weird to me. And I, I, I can't do it. But then I tried going into first person for this a little bit ago before I started uh, the recording for this video here. And I mean, it's doable, but I feel like for some reason ESO actually feels pretty good um, in third person too. you safely to your rest. Although I don't, I, I've never played like Skyrim or uh, Oblivion in in third person. I'd always play it in first. All right, where's our objective? So it's over there. Guessing we have to go down here. It's nice that we're getting into some combat pretty early on. I remember the last expansion that I did didn't really have any uh, enemies for me to fight right away. Oh yeah, I always forget that down the line. I, I don't think I can do it yet. Because I'm, I'm only level, what, 14, 12 right now? I always forget down the line that you'll be able to, with skills, you can have a second loadout that you swap between. Right now, I'm kind of just going with whatever abilities I, I have equipped and I'll level them up as needed. I want to try to focus on the, the content that we have here before I start changing things up and looking really far into my, my abilities that I have right now. All right, so it's it's over there. Maybe we didn't have it down here. Yeah, it looks like we have to go more inside here. We came in from this area. We came here, then we went to this. We gotta go to the corner. Fun. Oh, so many wasps. Renew your Might actually have an XP boost that I can throw on here too. Let the threads of faith restore While we're at strength. it. A knight never yields. No. The current of faith shall revitalize you. Does this thing always just destroy itself right away? When in combat, summon a, cell, a skeleton after 2.5 seconds they leap to you sacrificing the fallen within the mastery for 17 seconds increasing your damage done with the class abilities oh okay wait that's considered a criminal act <laughs> so we can't use that in uh in any like open area i'm pretty sure i think i remember having flame skull before While active, your third cast of Flame Skull deals damage in an area and creates. That's Force Pulls. I almost think that's Force Push. Okay, maybe I should throw uh, the other one on then. I think the main reason I have one of each right now is so that way I can level up all of these. Because that's usually how, how it works. I could also change to Flame Skull. Which one it is? So that's that. Consuming Trap. What is that from? I know how I said I wanted to stick to the content, but I just want to check my abilities real fast before we go in here further. You know what? Let's throw flaming skull back on
That's a destructive staff ability, so that that's good. Not sure what this is. Style force shock. Has a floor shock, crushing shock, and force pulse select and skills menu acquired by completing ink accumulator achievement. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we'll use this ability instead for now. Because I think these two together would have to be used. And then consuming trap. Yeah, that's where we're using right there. Okay. We'll keep keep it going. second here all right so i'm guessing we gotta go into this corner back here because yeah it looks like there's an entrance Got another companion's suits. restoration staff. Let the threads of faith restore your strength. Oh god, keep getting hit by that thing. On my honor. Oops, wrong way. All right, let's go ahead and continue on here and hopefully not get hit by that. That was very close. <laughs> but let's see what we got here. Level, level up. Nice. Aliens were fascinated. Go ahead and claim that. But Put it into this magic is not again. what we see. Let us press on. All right, see what we got. So we still got to go to the left here. One thing I I like, I don't have any uh, mods enabled or add-ons right now. But one thing I always like about them is you can have like a mini map and stuff. Because I I don't think there is one by default. And I, I complete, honestly, until I loaded this up today or the other day and then logged in again, I completely forgot about the uh, the mods that you can get or the add-ons, technically. We need to go that way. Keep going here. Hit my my abilities there and it wasn't doing anything. Nice. Got that. Taking down the enemies one at a time. They actually go down pretty fast. Faster yeah. than I was expecting the them to. The way to Elendil's shrine lies in the heart of the maze. Okay. That was it, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. All right, down here we go. Not only a maze, but a investigate the maze. Oh God. The aliens were practitioners of necromancy. Necromancy, you say? <laughs> that thing is so cool. All 
All right, so we got to figure out this maze here. Actually, I think if I look at the map, I might be able to do it pretty quick. Still two dangerous foes. All right, so we can't go this way. We actually got to go to the other side. It's nice that you can see it directly from the map because there's a block wall right there. But if we go this way. And there's somebody else here too. A knight never yields. It's always cool seeing other people doing the, the this quest. The north should be the you definitely run the into more people doing the quest here than you do in, uh, yeah, yeah, the door's locked. Than you do in, like, 76. Every once in a while, you'll bump into somebody that's doing the same quest. I don't know if we're going the right way, but I'm just going this way anyways. Oh yeah, I think so, because this will, it looks like this will bring me up here around and then in to that area. If that's cr the correct way even. Going here. Taking them down pretty fast. The heart of the main okay, here we go. gate. We must find the key, Proxy. Okay, we got a little boss. Twenty minutes in. And we get to take it on with another player, which is pretty cool. Just like that. Rapport increase. We got some stamina. The key must unlock these gates. Let us continue, Proxy. I sense that what we seek lies somewhere to the south. Do bookshelves still increase your stats? I think they do. Periodically. Nice. So we can open up this gate now. And we can also go through this one. Following right behind this person in front of me. <laughs> oh no, where'd they go? Wait, what the heck? Yeah, we have to go through here, right? What? He was putting me on the other side of it. But my companion is there. Oh, there we go. That was weird. It was just like bugged, I guess. Find the shrine, torch bug. We found the shrine, but I do not recognize you yet. You seem familiar. Athelia. Perhaps you can almost like this shrine. I know I should remember it, but I do not. Tell me, what is this place? Why am I drawn here? This is Ellen Jillen. We believe it's the shrine of the Daedric Prince. Of a Daedric Prince. A Daedric Prince. Yes, I remember. That was what mortals called me. But Elenglyn is a proud citadel, not a crumbling ruin. Its people are wise and beautiful. They worship me. Mm. Wait. I sense something. And another memory. Hermaeus Mora. Are you sensing the Echo Near? The Echo Near? Yes. That is what the Abyssal Cephaliarch called it. A clever little device he wrought to find and remove things that belonged to me. Thoughts, memories, truths he did not want anyone to know. Show me. I wish to see what it reveals. Not sure about this, but I guess we need to see the memory too. 
Echo deer. Whoa. You must forsake the many paths. You seek to diminish my prince. Why should she agree to such a demand? To preserve reality. Her willfulness threatens all of existence. You let your fear control you and foresee an apocalypse that will never be. Depart, Mora! Ophelia disappeared as soon as the memory ended. Let us speak outside. Huh. That's pretty cool. Exit the ruin. What I like about these is they're all their own. I mean, I think there's some recurring characters and stuff like that that you can probably recognize from other expansions, but a lot of times I think these introduce entire new storylines, sometimes new factions, new classes. Let us review what we saw all in that. the ruins, Proxy. Okay. Right, and we still got to go to two now other rooms after this too. The recollection also <laughs> seeks Ophelia. They hope to find her visiting places she once knew just as we did. Yet Ophelia seems confused. Mm. I do not think she has fully regained her memories or truly understands what happened to her. What do you make of the memory the Echnir revealed to us? I believe we witnessed the moment Emmaus Mora first confronted Athelia about the danger she posed to reality. And we saw that she refused to heed him. It is a hard thing for any creature to change its nature, especially for a Daedric prince. What's our next step? This is but one piece of the puzzle, Proxy. You still need to investigate Ostomir and Rustwall Estate. Determine why the threads of fate there are frayed. Find me at Baragon's townhouse in Skingrad when you are ready to report. Very well. Goodbye. Okay. So we got two other ones to go to. Looks like this is a little town over here that you can uh, check out. Uh, we're not too far off, so we could just go there. You know what? I'll fast travel. I'll do a little bit of fast travel. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Stendar, keep me safe. And my coins in my purse. Yeah, it's so cool having a companion during this. That's the one thing that I do wish that they had in uh, in 76, is I, I wish you could have some sort of companion for Fallout. That'd be cool, too. But I, I'm assuming it would just be too much. And the only reason I'm comparing the two is just because yeah. it's, it's 76 is so fresh in my mind from playing it almost every day. Yeah. Uh, and then also, you know, same publisher creators too sometimes. Yeah. But I'm excited yeah. to see whatever uh, potential new content yeah. either one of them are bringing. Because we are, uh, I don't know when this video is going to go up. So by the time this one goes up, the summer uh, Games Fest event might be over. No, I might actually publish this on Sunday. I feel like it would be a good one to go up the same day that the Xbox event is happening. As long as everything is put together. Uh, like thumbnail and description and all that but it should be it should be so anyways if i end up posting this Brother, on sunday the same you know day happened to the cohort at Rustwall? then uh it'll be pretty cool because we'll be very close to knowing what potential stuff yeah. is coming out by bethesda yeah. in the future maybe we'll see some starfield stuff yeah. which i know again different different game and all that but i'm excited to see that game getting updates same thing with any potential new content for eso or anything for fallout i'm down for just about anything not a legionary in sight where are they could be doing these additional quests here you know what let's pick this one up 
Look around. No people. Strange, right? I detached an entire Legion cohort to guard this estate, but I haven't found a single Legionary. Not even a servant. What's your story? Do you know what happened to my Legionaries? Uh, I have no idea. Why do you send the, the cohort here? To protect the estate. I, I don't know if you're aware, but Westweald isn't the safest place these days. Between the New Forest and the Wood Elf settlers to the west, and the rumors of cultists and Daedra stalking the land, I, I thought it prudent. If you command the cohort, why weren't you here with them? Because I handle multiple matters for Count Calantius, and my cohort should have been able to fend for itself. The estate's proximity to Skingrad makes it a tempting target for enemy forces. Listen, help me find my legionaries, and you'll be rewarded. All right, I'll help you find the missing legion cohort. I hereby designate you a temporary agent of the Westweald Legion, hmm. just until we find my soldiers. We'll search the manor house first. I'll meet you inside. Keep your eyes open, comrade. We don't know what happened here. Very well. Okay. Yeah, what do you guys, uh, if you are playing uh, ESO a lot lately, let me know what your thoughts are on, is it worth doing a lot of the side missions? Because, I mean, we run past a decent amount. Um, But I, I don't know what the, like, kind of overall consensus is if people do a lot of the side missions because i remember that's how left to stand against us. initially i got the new companion um but i don't know which ones to follow which ones not to what do we i wish i could zoom in here more but we're already zoomed in as much as it goes investigate ostomar that's over there investigate the rust wall estate L Tribune. Oh, okay, so we actually have to do that quest anyways. Uh, right here. Can you track multiple? Yeah, right now it's the suggestion is help Tribune Alea investigate Rust Falls State. So it works out in this case. Enter the manor. Missing cohort. Seems everyone left in a hurry. Take a look around. Hmm. Bloody servant. Someone attacked tunic? the servant this belonged to. There's a candle over here. That I can't investigate. A oh, warning candle. Servants light this when there's danger, to warn others away. Hmm. Man, I always forget the different perspective it feels being in first person. Funny, because I typically prefer third person too, but certain games, I think they feel better in first. The captain planned to hide. Depending on the but game. Where? Meet her at the barracks. We need to find Captain Laronis. Meet me at the barracks on the south side of the estate. You got it. Okay. Is that the... Yeah, I saw a few people going into this room over here. So I figure that's what it was. Back here, comrade. I found Captain Laronis. Oh. Captain Martin. Loss. I found that letter clutched in his hand. They saved Captain. The servants are hiding in the catacombs. Let's talk. Okay. The bloody clothes and the warning candle suggest someone or something attacked Rustwall. And we know Captain Laronis was working on a plan. I hope to find him alive, but the letter from the groundskeeper tells us more than we knew before. The letter suggests the servants are hiding in the catacombs. Not as grim as it sounds. The Count ordered the catacombs converted into a shelter a while back. He wanted a place for anyone in residence to hide should war sweep over Colovia. Let's hope the rest of the cohort and the servants are safe and secure. The note says this groundskeep, Gaius, has the only key. Groundskeeper Gaius is a tough old hedge snipper. We need to find him and get his key to open the catacombs. Ah, so he's a Then boomer. we can see how much of the cohort and household staff survived whatever happened here. Let's check Gaius's home first. Alright, let's go find it. 
Groundskeeper Gaius' home is just down the hill to the east. Whether he's there or not, we need to find that key. Got it. Okay. We need to head there. Ooh, the music kicking in right now. Okay. I like that. Help Tribune Alea investigate Russwall Estate. Where is... So it's like right down here. They said down the hill to the east. not like over here is it yeah aha uh -huh. i see yeah. it i always forget this little icon is for yeah that's for the main quest yeah. like the the storyline but we're technically yeah. doing the side quest for the main quest yeah gotta be somewhere yeah. around here don't tell me i could have gone oh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i just went the longest way possible to get here it's okay i for some reason i thought that you couldn't go that far are you here guys tribune alea tribune thank the divines are they gone who gaius who attacked rustwall got that that uh Classic monk haircut. I'm glad to see Tribune Alea, but she certainly took her sweet time. We've had all sorts of problems here. Did you bring reinforcements? Captain Laronis sent the remaining legionaries and staff into the catacombs. Then he was going to call for help. Captain Laronis is dead. Me and Tribune Al Alea are the only reinforcements. Dead? Damn shame. He was tolerable as far as Legion officers go. He had a good plan, too. While he hid everyone who was left in the catacombs, I was to keep watch until help arrived. I even stashed the key in a safe place in case the enemy found me. What happened to the Legionnaires who disappeared? It had to be some sort of enemy army, but all I ever saw were a few wood elves sneaking around the grounds. We need to let everyone in the catacombs know it's safe to come out. Can you go retrieve the key and take care of that? Sure. We'll go get the survivors. Where did you hide the catacombs key? I stashed the key inside the old statue in the garden. Don't worry. I'll draw you a map. Awesome. Just be careful wandering in the garden. We've had an infestation of odd bugs recently. Odd and dangerous. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. So we got to go find this key now. Wait, talk to Groundskeeper Gaius. Again? Grab the map and let's go. We oh. need that key. You have that map? I'm glad to see Dead. it. It had I stashed the key inside. Oh, okay, here we go. Enter the gardens. The gardens are just east of here, down the hill. The Rustwall Gardens. Our map indicates a spot on the western side. Okay. A nice little garden here. <laughs> on the western side. insects they're from deep underground what drove them to the surface find the statue an icon leading me to this there there right here that's the statue marked on the map search for th that's the key I got now it let's go open the catacombs all right the let's door do it across from the barracks get our mount uh, I'll go back. Actually, let's try going this way. We haven't really gone this way. From that.
All right, up here. Enter the Rustwall Catacomb. The cross from the barracks, so yeah, it should be that one right there. And I think the rest of them are inside here. Move out. We need to find my cohort. All right, we're working on it. Look, down there. Still no sign of the escaped legionary, Shard Marshal. Oh. No matter, mortal. More of our forces will come through soon. As you say, Shard Marshal Vargas, we have more than enough weapons now. That oh. wood elf, he's with the recollection. I'm going. He's this furniture was meant for the comfort of dignitaries who took refuge here. Oh, there's Not a lot of other people doing this. Bastards. Kinda cool. Actually I get to do some uh some content with other players. Light little content, but uh it's something, you know. It's cool seeing people out here doing this. I mean, it's been out for like two or three days now on PC. Over by the gate. By my sword, a legionary. Hate to bring bad news to the Tribune, but I'm the only member of the cohort left. Those recollections zealots oh, killed no. legionaries guarding the estate until we sent whoever remained down here. That's when we walked right into the Daedra's clutches. How'd you manage to survive? I got lucky. I fell behind to adjust a loose bootstrap. When I heard the attack start, I slipped into the shadows and have been running ever since. Look, the Daedra have a portal. They're filling the catacombs with Daedric forces to attack Skingrad. Where's this portal? It's in the ruins, down in the deepest part of the catacombs. Two magical anchor things keep it open. Tribune Alea is strong, and you look like you can handle yourself. Okay, While thanks. the recollection hunts me, you need to destroy that portal. We'll destroy the portal. How did we find it? Go east, and you'll find where the Daedra dug up from below. Drop down and keep going east. You'll know the portal when you see it. Break those anchors, and I bet the portal closes. Now try and lead the recollection away, and then find you down there. Sounds good. Legionary Capio is right. We need to shut down that portal. Down into the ruins. We've got to close that portal. All right, we're going down. Oh boy. That it's to the east, so this way. I wonder what these ruins were. They're certainly older than the structures above. <laughs> Should have been a cowboy grandmaster. <laughs> what a name. Okay, search the ruins. I'm just following the the path here. Jeez. Crazy how fast they go down. Stendar was with us. No guts, no glory. An old mine, maybe. This feeling pretty good playing I uh, as the necromancer right now. I like it. I do wish I had more more summons right now too, but that's okay. We're still leveling them up a little bit. We've got one ability of each class, so that way I can consistently level it up. Whoa, what's going on there? The portal! Destroy the anchors, comrade! Defend the anchors! Maintain the portal! Destroy the anchors! Oh, that's how you destroy it. You gotta run up to it. I got one. There's two. Retreat. That closed the portal. Good work. Now, let's find a way out of here. <laughs> one enemy is just standing up there. This way, Tribune. Follow the tracks.
quest wheel. So he was the only one that survived after all that. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda into the storyline so far. Over here, comrade. I like this one more Let's than talk. the uh the first like cave that we went to. My cohort almost completely destroyed. The Rustwall staff almost all dead. Even Shard Marshal Vargas managed to slip from our grasp. While we closed the portal and saved Skingrad, it feels like we failed, comrade. This is part of something bigger. I came here to investigate a disturbance in the Threads of Fate. The Threads of Fate? That sounds ominous. But after what we saw down there, I'll keep an open mind. We learned that the Recollection Cult is working with Daedra and taking orders from Shard Marshal Vargas. They got damn close to invading Skingrad. So the threat here is over? With the portal closed and the Daedra on the run, the remaining Recollection forces aren't enough to threaten Skingrad. But I'll get the Legion to send more soldiers, just in case. Okay. Here, the pay I promised. The Legion always makes good on its debts. Nice, we got a Legion Guardian, even though I'm not Consider really going to use that. Consider your temporary commission okay. suspended, comrade. Though I'd love to have you permanently assigned to my cohort. I plan to continue to look into the Recollection and Shard Marshal Vargas. I hear there's a Wood Elf in Skingrad doing the same. Okay, sounds good. Good working with you. Not bad. Brave Lord increased. Nice. We leveled everything up, it seems like. Most of my abilities. Got some new items here. Inventory's kind of loaded up quick, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we are actually going to leave the first episode right here. Uh, I am going to try to go ahead and record the second one, so keep a lookout for that. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on the video. It makes a huge difference. Go in the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.